Hi guys, Miss Latina is back. This time I bring you firework demo. I don't know nothing about this game, but it seemed intriguing and it's one of those little Asian games that I do like to play. So let's go ahead and give this game a try. Z to search, save. All right. Let's get it. It seems pretty interesting. The names of people and places in the game are fictionist and similar to something coincidental ghosts love to feed off karma tearing apart bones and sucking out the marrow of sinners inflicted endless suffering the sutra of law okay spooky so far so good all right what is this oh zing ming so weird the car stalls for no reason Ling Shun, Mr. Zhang, the informant is still waiting in town. Why not just leave the car here? Zhang Min, no worry for that. Also, fire is off our hands. Zhang Min, but now the car is broken. We must get scolding if Captain Lu knows it. Hey, <laughs> the translation is so cute. Captain Lu is a friendly guy. Year New Year, don't you know her? If she knew the car broke down on the task, she must say... Eh, did I tell you to take good care of the car? Suppose that you are haunting for criminals, endangering public security, and the car breaks down. Can you imagine the consequences? So I'll try to fix it. I'm good at this. Thanks for the trouble. Come on, we are colleagues. Oh, the flash is almost out of battery. Ushun, go and buy a battery for me. It should be some grocery store in the street. Sure. Alrighty then, so we gotta look for a battery. Half an hour ago, a coffin caught fire for no reason during a funeral in Quintang Town. The informant says someone deliberately set the fire. Zhang and me were sent here to see what has happened. This is the first case I handled after becoming a criminal investigator. Alright, so we got an autosave. Believe in science, do away with superstition. Quintang is a secluded mountain town where many superstitious customs are retained. Okay. I guess we're leaving, I guess. I'm trying to find a battery. Okay. What is this? Mm, some ashes. On the counter is a basin full of paper ash with occasional wisps of fire. Hello? I just woke up. Can I help you? A number one battery, please. Here you are. Too young. Okay, you got the battery. Okay. That was easy. That was super easy. Give the batteries. Okay. Alright. I guess we can't do nothing else. The game is automatically bringing us to him to bring the batteries. So here you go. Ah, and they look the same. Mr. Zhang, I got the battery. Thanks, I'll fix up the car and you go to the scene to check out everything is there. Since you're new here, it's a good chance for you to get familiar with the place. Alright. Alright, I guess we're leaving. Mm. I'm not sure where the scene is. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. And the, the ashes are still here. Alright, here we go. What does this mean? The morning hall is on the right. Can we read any of this? Nope. Uh. Wait, what? Um. Didn't we just come through here? Didn't we just pass by here? Yeah, we did. Oh, while walking, press shift to pick up the pace. Okay. Whoa. Ooh, what is this? Red blood oozes from the wall. Oh god. I don't like it. Can't really check anything there. Oh snap. And we're back here again. K. 
can we go inside somehow? Oh, it's patched now. Red blood oozes from the wall, stuck with two bills. They are for the batteries. What's the matter? Dude, I have no idea. It's too dark to see. Okay, I guess we keep just going in a loop. Still the same, I'm just making sure that this does not change. Um, nothing here either. Oh, there's a door now. A rusty door appears on the wall. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. There's paper dolls. Prelude. Debt. So far, the game looks pretty decent. I like it. I like these type of games. A letter lays on the table. Yang Jinkai, the Yosuke owner, died of illness. For his funeral, a customer orders six reds, two paper dolls, and two candles, which will be delivered in three days. It is inscribed two days ago. So the funeral mentioned by the informant was for the shop owner, but wait. And then what is that? Didn't we talk to the shop owner? Then who's the guy we met at the shop? This one holding a book. It's too dark to find. It's too dark to see. Find something for lighting. Um, isn't there a candle here? The burning candle is fixed to the table. Hmm. And then there's a unlit candle. There's an unlit candle on the table. Ah, you got the candle. We need to light it. Yes, I would like to use it. Oh, cool. Now we can see clearly. Check the house. Oh, okay. The paper doll has an uh, accountant book in the hand. September 23rd, Wang Xingfeng borrowed 500 grams of eggs and owes Yang Jinkai RMB of 250. October 4, Xing Rongfa borrows a bottle of soy oil and owes Yang Jinkai RMB 16. Oh, fingerprints. October 20th, Ling Xing borrows a battery and owes Jinkai RMB 2. Dollars. Wait, that's us. We did that. The date is today. Why is my name on it? Uh, because you bought it and didn't pay for it, maybe? You got the account book. You can check the items on the menu by pressing X. Okay. Candle and ledger. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and, and save, I guess. Oh, we got the auto save. Okay. Oh, we got our first save. Feel like these spooky dolls would come out of. Oh, his face is all black. Hmm. Can't really go over there, but can we wipe this? Covered in ink like liquid. Oh, shit. Okay. I was waiting for her to move. The paper dolls fell to the ground. I was so waiting for her to move. Okay, we can't pick her up. Let's leave. Oh, and now it's closed. Okay. A sheet of paper lies on the chair. And it says, debt to the dead. If you take a dead person's belongings, you will owe debt to the dead. And if you don't return them in time, you'll be plagued by my lady. And even your family will be doomed. Return things as soon as possible to avoid catastrophe. I'm gonna have to give that... <laughs> I'm gonna have to give that battery back. You got volume 1, a dead of dead. Okay, what does it say here? At the center of a board posted on obituary, Queen Tang Elementary School supported teacher passed away at the age 27. Obituary, Queen Tang Township Government Culture and Education Office. It blacked out where the name is written. Okay. What is this now on the wall here? What is this? On the wall is a pool of undried blood and two hell money to it. Hmm. Get the hell money. Okay. 
so do I give this to the shopkeeper maybe? Okay. Toss the money. Yes. Okay. The money offering is burnt to ash. Okay. I can see the road ahead. Auto save. Okay. Oh, shit. What the hell? Pivotal is pointing to the right. Oh, God. Here we go. And so far, this game looks very artistic. Very cute. Oh, this is the funeral, isn't it? Oh, God. Okay. Where are the families of the deceased? Check out the scene first. Okay. Well, let's check the picture first. The candles on the table quivered with red light, reflecting the black and white portrait of the deceased. It was the man at the shop. Yeah, that's definitely the dude we saw. The coffin lid had been moved. Some smoke is coming out from the hole on the right. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. 110. Coffin lid in the coffin around. The coffin investigate where? Mm. Around the coffin. Uh, coffin lid? The coffin lid put a telephone along the line. You can see the handset in the coffin. The last number dialed was 110. The call was made about the same time as the police answered it. Uh, investigate in the coffin. The remains lay inside the coffin and the clothes are burnt and mutilated. Holy shit. The interior of the coffin was blackened by smoke smelling like gunpowder. It is the smell of gunpowder. Why is it in this coffin? Investigate around the coffin. The wreaths of a uh, paper doll near the notch were blackened by smoke, but there were no signs of burning. The fire probably started within the coffin and did not spread beyond it. Investigate where investigation ended. It is weird, unlike normal fire. <laughs> Need to tell Zhang about this. Okay, auto save. There's a way ahead. Oh god, I'm kind of spooked about it. But alright. So I guess we go backwards, I'm thinking. Because now, now I think we can go back. Because we can see we got the, the lighter. And it's really dark over here. Oh, there's a girl. Okay. Hello, miss. Can I get some help? She needs something to this. What does she do? Okay. It was otter dark ahead. Okay. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, okay. Th that really did scare me. There was a dusty uh, roll of ledgers on the counter. October 20th. You are next. Dead, dead, dead. Dead. You can't escape the dead. <laughs> oh, damn. The word dead is written all over the face of the portrait. What the hell? The portrait gazes to the left. Okay. I guess we go to the left. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I don't like this. Oh no, that was so good. Firework, everybody. This little demo was very intriguing. Um, I really like it. I think that I will be definitely getting the game for sure. Um, 
and it's cool. What do you see this time? Wait, is it not over? I see a white cloud of smoke. Anything else? A car. A black hearse driving slowly. I tried to get closer, but it's getting far away. Who is the car carrying? It carries my father. Oh, wow. What? It's not over. I thought the game was over. Okay. I thought the game was over. I thought the demo was over, but... I was ready to give the... The review on it, but... I I'm glad. You finally wake up. Okay. Here is the clinic. Why should I be here? Remember you fainted near the funeral shed? Faint? Yeah, you worried me a lot. Luckily, the clinic is nearby. After some examination, we felt reassured that you would fail asleep. Sorry, it's a problem for my young age. Sorry to worry you. It's okay, Captain Lou once informed me of your circumstances. Don't worry, try to pace yourself in this job. Thank you. By the way, what about the funeral fire? The person in charge of the funeral said it was the paper ash that fell on the... Oh... But I checked the scene that the fire started in the coffin. You must be wrong, the coffin had been opened. The responsible person didn't claim accountability and even had no idea who called the police. Maybe some not kid. No one else on the fire scene? Yes, the deceased was the shop owner, Yang Zhenkai, who divorced years ago. He was so stingy that his rel relatives cut ties with him for a long time. No relative cared of his death and people in the town chipped in to hold a funeral for him out of sympathy. Wing Sheng, leave this case aside and have the rest. Okay. Man, that was pretty cool. I like the entry of the game so far. Definitely thought the game was over, but it is not. So let's uh, keep going, I guess. This is probably like one of the longest uh, demos ever, but definitely buying this game. But Dr. Absent, can I help you? Oh, God. Is that the grudge? Hello? Can I help you? Mm. The collar hung up. Okay. Creepy. Oh, wait. There's something here. A door. The door was covered with a thick spider web. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, there's nothing here. Can we go through this door? The door is locked. Is that keys right here? Can we grab anything here? What about the desk? What is this? Familiar glucose vial hanged on the infusion track. I've often ran a fever without any reason at a young age. Even doctors didn't know why. My grandma knew a good uh, god old woman who said I was cursed and couldn't tell ghosts. The last time I met the god woman was at my father's funeral. Upon seeing me, she sighed and said, It's an act of providence when you can entail ghosts. Be a policeman in the future and uphold justice. <laughs> I just love the translations. Okay. The phone didn't ring. So we can't really do anything. No way ahead. So what are we missing here? <gasps> oh shit. Okay, that scared me. There's a local case. On September 15th, the family of four was found dead in their home in Quintang Town. The household Tian, his wife and granddaughter, died of rat poison while his daughter-in-law hanged herself. The police suspected the daughter-in-law poisoned the other three due to her mental problems. Then she committed suicide. The case is still under investigation. Welcome to public to provide clues. There is a key beside the TV set. Oh, nice. Get the key to the clinic. Okay. 
Well, well, well. I guess we can get out of here now. Open the door with the key. Nice. Okay. Oh, it's so dark in here, huh? Oh, there's a guy right there. Episode one. Telephone ring. Cool. How do you feel, sir? Um, you're the doctor here? Yes, my name is Yang Jingshan. Glad to see you. Many thanks for today, doc. Yay. I'm a doctor. It's my duty to save lives. Well, I haven't seen you before. You're new here. Yeah, just registered yesterday. No wonder. Quang Tan is rather a humid place. Newcomers can't quite get used to it. He'll get better. What's some rest? Want a cigarette? No, thanks. I, I don't smoke. So rare. All cops I know are heavy smokers. Especially the veterans. Cigarette gives them inspiration. I haven't handled any cases. I know nothing about this. That's how it is. Well, don't tell anyone that I smoke. I always pursue the old in the town to smoke less. It can be justified if they knew that I smoke. Yan Jingshan, I wonder the next door is Yang Jingkai's grocery store. Yep, what's wrong? Nothing, just seen something weird at the funeral. I want to learn about it. Do you know how Wang Jingkai died? Hmm. He died a few days before he was found. I found, haven't seen the body, so it's hard to say. People in the town said he died in a horrible way, just like he was claimed by a ghost. By a ghost? It is related to an early murder case where the whole family was killed. It is the case of the Tian family? I saw it on TV. Yes, after the case, Yang spread rumors around that daughter-in-law of the family was a lunatic and killed the whole family in attack. People say Yang spoke ill of her, so he was claimed by her ghost. Of course, I'm not. I'm a doctor. I don't believe in this. Perhaps Yang Jinkai himself was cardiovascular disease, which broke out to due to mental tension. Whoa. It's probably an electric circuit breaker. I'll go check it out. If it is too dark for you, sir, in a black van, outside there are candles. All right. All right, so there's some candles in the van. So I'm guessing this is what I need to go, right? Where do I go? Can we go? Okay, cool. So this shouldn't be the van. A black van is parked across the road. There are a few candles and a lighter next to the seat. Get candles and get the lighter. By the candlelight, no one can see several boxes of fireworks. Why does the clinic vans have fireworks? It's not that far from the funeral shed. Dr. Yay might have known about the fire at the funeral. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can't go anywhere there. We can't. It's pitch black. Alright, I guess we go inside. Again. There are some medical books on the table. Nothing special, I'm guessing. There are signs that something had been hung on the wall. Seems like silk banner by the outline. Okay. Can't really check that. Not that paper either. Can't go that way. Let's go back, I guess. I'm back into this room right here. So I wonder where the other guy went. I mean... The lights go out. He just disappears. Maybe we can clear the webs. Use candle to burn it. There you go. The candle webs burnt out. Okay, I guess we're going in here. Ooh. There's a tree. A similar willow tree stands beside my old house. Grandma said it was the root of the lens and would bless our family. Dad didn't believe in that. The day he was buried, the willow tree whimpered as if crying. Oh, we can go in here. Okay. 
can we fix this? There were two wires in the electrical box. One was burned down, the other seemed to be working. Ah, a little puzzle. Interesting, interesting. Well, it seems like it, but then that doesn't connect there. Maybe it's definitely not like that. So definitely like that. Also, I feel like it would be like this. Okay. It's not the blue, I don't believe it's the blue that you gotta connect. I believe it's the red. Since the blue is not working, so. Ah, there it is. Power back on. Okay. Oh. Well, hello there. You are... Isn't the case uh, closed? What are you doing here? The case? Are you new here? I've uh, been here for a short while. What's the case you're talking about, please? Um, Chang Quang Xu... I supported you here at the Quentin Primary School. A month ago, my student Tian Feng Feng and her mom and grandparents were found dead at home. But you guys are suspecting that the Feng Feng's mom killed the whole family. I know Feng Feng's mother. She couldn't have killed the Feng Feng. <laughs> what evidence have you got? I'm looking for it. What evidence can the clinic have? You'll know it. And when I find it and submit it to the press... But don't take anything away, it'll be difficult if you were found out. Also, my last name is Lin, and I'm a detective from the Criminal Investigation Brigade. I'm right around the corner. You can call me if you get into trouble. Okay, thanks. Alright, well. She's looking for trouble, this young lady. Alright, so we... Hold on, can I go back? Uh, with so many lives killed in one case, the superior must be taking it seriously. Captain Lu shouldn't decide on the verdict of the case at will. Let's gather more information about Tian's case first. Also, what is this umbrella? Red umbrella that's dripping. It's probably hers, but it's not raining. Okay, well. Alrighty. There's something in this little hole right here. An old moss covered well. Water glows occasionally from the depths of the well, reflecting the night sky. Okay. Can't really go there. So we did everything over here. Ooh, there's a shadow. A blurred silhouette of people can be seen through the windows. Hmm. The wall blocks the road. Go inside, see who is that. Hmm, doesn't seem like there was nobody here. TV's back on. Next strange news reacted to the Tian's family case. Residents in the town claimed to receive phone calls in the midnight, seven days after the Tian's all died. They could only hear the sound of the top rope as if they were hanging something heavy. The phone numbers are from, from the Tian's family store. The police said it was fake news. Please do not spread rumors. Mm. Spooky. And here's the 
here comes the phone. Where's the phone? Right here. Not this one. Not this one. Okay. Must be the the one in the reception. That whoa. Two voice recordings are displayed on the phone screen. Hello? Are you Yang Jing Shan? We're from the criminal investigation department. You must have heard the case of Tian's family. A witness said that Tian Xingrong's daughter's daughter-in-law, Zhao Shenzhuan, went to your clinic half an hour before the case happened. We want to know why she went there, what medicine did she buy, and how was her mental state then? Hope you can cooperate with us. Looking forward to your early reply. Okay. Sir, this is Yang Zhishan. Zhao did come here before the accident. She said her mother-in-law had a bad cough and wanted to buy some cough medicine. She left after taking the medicine. Everyone at the clinic saw it and have receipts for all the prescriptions here. Contact me if you have more to ask. Hmm. Oh. There's the sound of a car starting outside. Okay. That must be the, the firework car or whatever. The van seemed to be heading towards the funeral shed. Why are they going to the funeral shed so late at night? Can we go there? It is so dark. It is so dark. It was pitch black. Unable to move forward. Oh. Where are we now? What the hell? We're in the woods. What is this? There are several tombs in the distance looking for it. Very gloomy in the dark. Okay. Okay. A cordon blocks the way. Get in or not. Uh, yes. Okay. Hmm. What is this? Where are we? On the post box was Tian Jingrong. Here's the Tian's house. Okay. Let's check out the crime scene first. Alright. Are you sure this is a demo or a, a full game? This feels more like a full game, but I don't mind because this game is really pretty neat. This game is pretty neat. Please dial the number. Uh, okay. I don't know. No one answers the phone. Do we have to find like a phone number or something to dial me? There's a note on the wall. Ah, so two, three, five, seven. Two, three, five, seven. Oh, I didn't mean that. Two, three, five, seven. Oh, it's ringing. Hello, today's Fang Fang's birthday. Don't forget to fetch the cake before you return home. The cake order form was washed with the clothes. Now there's only half left in the washing machine. My waist hurts and I can't bend to take out the receipt. The other half might be in the pocket of the clothes hung. Be careful next time. Check pockets out before you wash clothes. Hmm. Okay. The sound owner may be a woman in a mid-age. The place to hang clothes might be outside. Okay, let's go outside then. Where would she hang the clothes? Swamp to darkness. 
Um, how do you even get upstairs? Oh, right? Um. There you go. The door is locked. Oh, wait. The pants. Something in the pocket of the wet pants. Okay, I have received the cake order. Oh, what the hell? What was that down there? What? Okay, let's go back inside. Ooh, something opened. Call me when you find the order. Two red and two blue. What would that mean? Okay. What is this? The calendar says, oh, September 22nd. So I'm guessing the code is 0722. It might be her birthday. Or 2207, one or the other. The crime falls on September 15th. Why the calendar is only seven days later. Okay. Or maybe the 15th, who knows. Nothing here. Okay, the other receipt is here. The washer lid is firmly shut and a piece of paper lies on it. Mirrors can reflect reality and penetrate the hearts of people. Look yourself in the mirror and find the truth of the illusion. Okay. Okay, the lid could only be open when the knob is twisted in the right place. There might be some clues around here. Okay. Check the, the curtain. There seems to be something behind the curtain. Withdraw. Withdraw curtain. Oh. Outside the window was a wall painted with strange symbols. So. I'm guessing the second uh, rotating thing is in a clock sort of way. So let's get a paper right here. And note this down, so the second, this is a clue for the washer, I believe. So this is what we'll do. So I'm guessing that's what the second one needs to point to. Okay. Cool. What else is here? Anything else here? Bathtub? Ah, the third one. There's a half-drawn strange sign on the inner so this one doesn't have everything so this is the third rotation for the washing machine but it's not full mm. okay check the mirror and the first one the wall and the mirror was painted with a strange sign and the first one, it says it's rotated this way. Okay. I seldom look in the mirror. My grandpa said I was cursed and looking in the mirror would entail ghosts. After my dad died, I only looked in the mirror once. In the mirror, I saw my dad's clothes hang on the wall behind me. It was exactly the green police uniform dripping blood. I haven't looked in the mirror since then. I didn't remember my child look, and I feel strange looking at myself. Wow. Okay. So, the washer lid is firmly... Ma, 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 ma. Yes. We did check. Wait, we did check. How come I can't... Okay. Unless I'm missing one of them. Hmm... Interesting. So far we did find all the clues. For it. Turn on the sh- Oh, okay. So this is how we see. Okay. Alright, can we see it now? Ah, now we can see it. Different sign on the water surface could form a complete sign of the one in the inner is basically almost the same as the first one okay let's try this again 
Alright, so now we can do it. So, I believe it was like this, like this, like that. Wait. Wait a minute. Why is it switching? Wow. Okay, click Z to rotate the blocks. X to exit. Okay. Oh, open the washer lid. Oh, damn. Okay. Half sheet of paper lies at the bottom of the roller. We got it. We got it. We got the receipt. It's the cake order from Fang Fang. But on September 21st, four members of the family, Tian family, had already died. Who ordered the cake? Get a complete cake order receipt. Oh, we did it. What the hell? Hello? Anybody there? The door is locked. Oh, shit. Holy crap. Um, please check the door again. No? Okay. What the hell? This room is the morgue in our police station. Oh, man. This is probably one of the coolest demos I ever played. The electricity box is locked. Okay. A pair of sharp scissors hangs on the shelf. I, I can't- I can't take out the, the scissors, no? Okay, there's a dead body. Oh, crap. A dead body lies on the morgue. An autopsy report is next to it. Oh, this is Zhao. Okay, gender female, age 33, height 164 centimeters. The deceased died of shock caused by asphyxia. No other trauma or signs of struggle. By combining the results of the scene investigation and the interviews, we can confirm that the deceased committed suicide. In addition, the hair of the deceased was tangled with the telephone on the crime scene. For the convenience of the autopsy, some of the hair had to be cut. It is suggested that the victim's body was turned and tossed after the hanging, causing the long hair to get tangled in the phone wire. Get an autopsy report. Okay. Oh, the hair. The hair wrapped around the sink. There seems to be something on the bottom of the sink. Okay, scissors. Okay. Alright, now we can use them. Yes. Yes, please. A key. Okay. We got the key to the box. Wait, whoa. Um, the body's covered with hair. This is not a good sign. Okay. Let's open this up. Yes, please. Use the key. Two buttons in the electricity box. Turn the red one, turn the blue one. Ah, that's what that thing was. Okay, so I think it was red. Uh, I don't like it. Oh god. No, no, no. Go back to the box. Let's check the morgue first. You serious? Red means scary, dude. Why are we doing this? Alright. There might be something beneath the, tr the thick hair. Pull away the hair. Yes. What the hell is that thing? A pig? There is a pig's head for sacrifice on a birthday cake. The word sacrifice on the head looks unusual in the light. Hmm. Yeah, okay, buddy. Uh, turn on the blues. Okay. What does it say now? The word sacrifice on the head looks unusual in the light. 
the word color might have some meaning note noted down sacrifice and then sacrifice get note of words on the cake okay oh wait oh wait there was a okay uh the door opened okay so well, let's check our items um okay oops so do we lose the so i can't go back to whatever we just saw that's unfortunate okay just the door opened. There were some numbers there. Fortunately, I didn't catch that. Uh, okay. Teacher Chen, what are you doing here? This is Fang Fang's house. I'm looking for clues. Well, you said the case was settled. Did I make any trouble to be in the crime scene? Uh, yeah, Mr. Shang. All the information about the Tian family case and the autopsy report shows Zhao. Xin Shun committed suicide. And from the news on Xin Shuan hanged herself after death of her family. So, if I returned home to see family members poisoned, and even if they were dead, I also dial 120 in the first place. You mistook it. After death of Feng Feng's dad, Feng Feng was Zhao Xin Shuan, only ritual support. Feng Feng was an apple of Zhao Xin Shuan eyes and after the crime all thought Zhao Xinxuan was crazy but I knew she didn't seeing the dead body of her beloved child in somber, somber moments was really depressing so you think someone poisoned Feng Feng's family and Zhao Xuan committed suicide due to mental breakdown when she saw Feng Feng's dead body do you think it could be possible I can't say anything until I find out more clues what clue do you want I want to know why you went to the clinic. Is Dr. Ye connected with this case? Ye Jinshan had reasons to kill the family. Two years ago, Feng Feng's dad, Tian Yu, was sent to the emergency room with, of Yang Jinshuan's clinic due to a seizure, but he still died. Feng Feng's grandfather, Tian Jingrong, believed Yang Jinshan killed his son. He not only smashed the clinic, but also broke several of Yang Xinxian's ribs. He, Xinxian, ended up lying in a hospital bed for almost a month and compensated a lot to the Tian family. Moreover, Zhao had been to the clinic before the crime. Her family all died when she came back. Don't you think there's some coincidence? Dr. Ye said Zhao came to buy cough medicine and there were other patients on the scene. Who knows if the drugs were good or not. Anyway, Tian family are already dead and you could cook up any story. Well, that's pretty true, but something seems fishy. So you went to the clinic to find evidence of Dr. Yin's crime? Yes. But Yang Jinshan was clever enough to hide all the clues. Did you figure out anything here? No. I will check other sides if it's okay. I will go first. I don't know if it's safe for her to be doing all this, you know? I don't know. Teacher Shang looked strange. Did he figure out anything here? Also, there was something here, wasn't there? But I can't remember. I need to find the number first. I don't know if it's in the... Maybe it's here somewhere. I really wish that I was able to... Words on cake. Ah, here it is. One, one, four, eight. One, one, four, eight. I'm not sure which... Uh, way it is so basically this is red red and blue 
And I believe next to the folder is an indicator of that process. It says red, blue, blue. So basically one, four, eight, one. Hello? We saw the cake. Fang Fang really likes it. Your father-in-law said Fang Fang's classmate could would come tonight birthday party. Tonight's birthday party. We must be all well prepared. Remember to take some ready made food from the restaurant. Finish. Fish is a must. Both Ya Yu and Fang Fang are into it. This morning again I found Fang Fang left the key at the dining table. She has been forgetful at her young age. What if one day the key was taken by some strangers? Children learn from adults, and you must be good, model. Okay. Alright, well. So are we talking to some dead person? Because they've already died, right? So who are we talking to? Is it his family? Maybe has no recollection of what's going on? I don't know. Can we go upstairs now? The door is locked. There's nothing on the pants. No keys. No nothing. Oh, the cake. There are moldy cakes in the bowls. Let's check the cake. Which one? Uh, let's check the first one. Nothing special. Second one? Nothing special. Third one. Ah, a key beneath the bowl. The key to the... So is that her in the car? Is that her car? Is that her leaving? Where is the car so sound coming from? Ooh. A little picture just popped up. There is a ghost portrait behind the fence. It looks like Fang Fang's photo. Okay. Man, I love games like this. I really do. I'm surprised that this is a demo and it's this long. I'm not sure if... It's the demo or a free game? I'm starting to think that this might be a free game and I just... I might have mistaken it for a demo. It's super long. I think we've been on this for about 50 minutes so far. So, is the key we got to the door. Okay. This is the first time I've ever been on a crime scene. I take a deep breath and exhale it out. After making sure that there's nowhere in my chest, I pick up the key. Uh, phone call from the supermarket? Hmm, if something doesn't want me to go in there, I guess. Okay, let's go check. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Who's this? Hello? Uh... I can't pick up the phone. Oh this phone only dead silent a rustle of noise wait there's fingerprints on these numbers on one four one four five six it kind of looks to me as like one four Five, six, nine, seven. Hello? Hi, Mr. Officer. Dr. Ye. We only met once. How could you remember my voice? You also know my voice. That's interesting. I was busy and didn't hear the phone call just now. You made the phone call? The phone call? Not me. I didn't see who made it. That's strange. But the number is from the Tian family. 
Something strange in the news happened to me. I saw the news. Did the other people in town also receive such phone calls? Words in town said on September 15th, some classmates and her granddaughter received strange phone calls. That day, also, the granddaughter's birthday. On one day before, someone ordered a cake in a city cake store. The cake is for the granddaughter. Now, people in town avoid direct contact with the Tian Taos, fearing terrible things are falling on them. Mr. Officer, I'm curious, what are you doing in their house? Something about the Tian's uh, family case puzzled me. I want to check again. What? Dr. Ye Zhao went to the clinic before the crime, right? Yeah, in the season, in the season, people are vulnerable to getting colds or running fever. There are many patients in the clinic that day. They all saw Mr. Zhao. Do the Tian family usually go to your clinic? There is a subtle, almost impersonable laugh from the mic. I got it. You must have heard something about me and the Tian's family. That's true. After the incident, the Tian family never came to my clinic. So I was also surprised when Zhao suddenly came up to the clinic that day. What did she say? She said her mother-in-law had a bad cough and asked me for a certain brand of cough medicine. Then she left. I see. Thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome. I can't help you with this case. Are you still working on it? There's something hidden about this case. I can't turn my eyes to it. Hmm. Okay. I asked you in the clinic if you smoke, and you said no. You said you hadn't done any case. I thought you were you were a rookie cop. But it's remarkable you have detected these clues in such a short time. I really want to know how you did. Did you figure it out? Well, we're not going to tell him about the girl that we spoke to before. But I am busy right now. Maybe next time we could... Have a long talk. Bye, Mr. Officer. Is he going to try to kill us? By having this little talk? That he wants to have with us? I don't know. Yang Jingshan was the clinic at the time of the crime. Other patients were witnesses and he was indeed a minor suspect. Yet, Yang Jingshan seemed to be spreading strange rumors about the Tian family and showed great interest in the case and he recognized my voice even if i only said hello he seemed to be lurking in the corner nearby watching everything hey so this was it this was the game wait is, is this the end of the game or episode two i have no idea but i think it's we've reached the demo Oh. Oh no, we got into an accident. What the hell? Was that the en the end of episode one or the end of the the demo? I think I'm so confused with this game. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't blame me. I'm so confused. Hey, the trial version of the game is over. Firework. Oh my god. This game is so amazing. Now we can do the actual um, review of the game. I think this game is pretty cool. Check out uh, and support them. It seems like it's a small little team. Um, it's definitely worth it. I mean, it had me going every single time. The game, the graphics. Um... Obviously, the translation could work. Uh, could have a little bit more work, but it's pretty readable and it's very enjoyable. I love games like this. I can't say the same for people that might not like it, but for me, I think it's it's amazing. The artwork, it's amazing. I've been waiting for a game like this for a very very long time, ever since the detention game. I've been wanting a replacement for that game, and this is just perfect, if not better. Definitely worth it. Definitely putting it on my wish list. This is a very um, good game. I'm giving it a 10 out of 
10 absolutely amazing let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you want to check out this game i will also put the link in the description until next time you already know the deal stay spooky miss latina out